What's up guys, eDrone here. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at what I think just might be the best budget power screwdriver for FPV and RC. Stay tuned. All right guys, here it is. We're taking a look at the Denali Amazon powered screwdriver here. Under $25 this comes in at. This is a budget uh, friendly option if you're looking for a, a small uh, a small power drill, but even though it's a small size, it packs a pretty big punch. It's got a decent size, a decent amount of torque and speed. I was really impressed and blown away with this screwdriver. Um, Amazon did not send this to me for review. I purchased this with my own money, so I just gotta go ahead and put that out here. And, and as well, I wanted to let you guys know to check out this video. I'll link it up in the top corner here. Check out this video for the full review that I watched on this, comparing this to other powered screwdrivers on the market, including the very popular DeWalt gyroscope screwdriver. I was really impressed with how well this screwdriver stacks up against that DeWalt gyroscope screwdriver coming in at under $25. So make sure you check that video out. Let's go ahead and, and see what you get in the box. And we're going to do some testing with this as well to show you what you can expect. All right, taking a look at the packaging. Nothing really special here. Uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. However, for the price of this and uh, the performance, that really doesn't bother me. All right, opening up the package. We have a cardboard and the drill is just kind of sitting in the cardboard. Get the drill. You get a basic little bit set here. So that's nice to include that. You get a USB to USB-C charging connector. You get the safety manual and you get the instruction manual. That's everything that comes in the box. Taking a look at the, the Denali screwdriver here. Uh, it's got a decent amount of weight to it. Definitely feels uh, pretty heavy. We've got the uh, forward and reverse button here on the side, which um, doesn't seem to be in too bad of a placement. However, it would have been nice to have this moved up a little bit further. That way, when you're holding it in your hand, it would naturally just you know, fit here right where your thumb is. But nevertheless, uh, we do have a nice little button here. You have the settings here for um, how much torque you want. You have the lowest setting middle setting and then the max setting here that's going to adjust how much uh, torque you have while you're using it so that's nice that you have different uh, variable settings here you have the little uh, chuck here on the front that's going to hold um, your adapter that comes with the drill set here so that's just going to hold in there magnetically then here on the bottom we have a covered USB-C port that um, is a little bit finicky to get out with your fingernail, but it just kind of pulls out and you have the USB-C charging port here. But I like that it's covered because that, you know, it's going to help uh, increase the, um, the durability of it. You know, if you happen to get a little bit wet, it should be okay as long as you have this, uh, this uh, USB-C cover plug here plugged in. Should help it to be a little bit more resilient if you happen to drop this or uh, get a little bit wet. So, all right. So in order to charge up your Denali, you're just going to remove this little rubber plug here at the bottom. Go ahead and plug in your USB-C charging connector. And you can see the little LEDs will start to flash, indicating that you are now charging the battery. Once your screwdriver is completely charged, um, the three lights will remain illuminated for 100 seconds and then the lights will go off, indicating that your drill is fully charged. You also have two LED lights here at the tip end, and when you push the screwdriver either forward or reverse, that will trigger the two LED lights to come on and illuminate. Now, as far as for my FPV drones and uh, stuff like that for using this, I went ahead and picked up this 10-piece hex bit set that comes in the following sizes. So this should cover just about everything uh, for my FPV quads. And the the uh, the, the ends of these uh, hex drivers will fit right into the uh, drill. You can see the hex adapters fit directly right into the drill. You don't need the adapter that it comes with unless you need to extend it. These hex drivers will fit directly into the drill itself. For the first test, 
We're basically going to take this Denali here and we're going to take these four screws in this top plate. These are all the way unscrewed and they're just sitting in the hole in the carbon. We're going to tighten it up with the Denali. Uh, we have the, uh, the torque setting all the way set to max. We're going to tighten these four screws up. Then we're going to loosen them. And then we're going to do the same thing with the Xiaomi Wow Stick. And just to kind of get a little comparison and see, um, you know, how they both do for taking screws in and out of top plates. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll start it like this. Now we're going to take them out. Now loosen. All right, you can see it struggled a little bit loosening them back out, but it was able to do the job. We went ahead and tightened them and loosened them back up, and you can see it did pretty well. All right, so the next test, I went ahead and tightened these four screws by hand, and they are pretty, pretty snug. So now we're gonna compare the Denali to see how it does taking them out versus the Wow Stick. We'll kind of see how they each do. Okay, those two came out no problem with the Den Denali. Let's check the back two with the wow stick. Okay, the wow stick failed. And failed again. You can um, use the wow stick manually to get it started, and then it will unscrew it. But as you can see, it just does not have the torque to be able to take these uh, screws out that I hand tighten. So, just a good comparison to show you how much better this uh, Denali is than this wow stick, obviously. I'm just going to demonstrate um, the torque that this little screwdriver has. And we've got the torque setting turned all the way up. We're going to be using this little wood screw. And we're going to be screwing down through this smaller piece of um, board into this thicker piece of board. And let's just see how it does. All right, went right through, no problems. Let's go ahead and uh, take it back out. So as you can see, even though it's small, it definitely has a decent amount of torque to be able to do some stuff around the house. I have this RC drift car here, and we're gonna see if the Denali has enough torque to remove the uh, wheel here. These are, um, these are lock nuts, so usually they're threaded, um, so once they go on, they're pretty tight. So let's see if we can get this off. Oh, yeah. Took it right off. Let's put it back on. And definitely seems like it's plenty tight enough to put it back on as well. Next up is the uh, prop nut test. So these prop nuts were put on by hand. So we're gonna see if the Denali will take these prop nuts off. Now I'm gonna try to keep this in camera so you can see it.
Wow. Yeah. Definitely was enough to uh, take the prop nut off. Let's go ahead and see if we can get it back on. Tight. Oh, yeah. Like I said, a lot of torque. Definitely enough to uh, take off your prop nuts as well. So, there it is, guys. The Denali from Amazon. This little driver packs a lot of power for the small form factor and small price tag. One thing that um, I can't speak on this uh, so far is the longevity of this drill. How long is this going to last? Is it going to stand up to the test of time? That is the one thing that I don't know for certain yet, And but I'll definitely make sure that I um, you know, report back after I've been using this for a little while so I can tell you, hey, this thing lasts or hey, it doesn't. But from the, the most part from the reviews I've seen, people have been genuinely very happy with it. So that, that makes me think that this definitely may end up lasting uh, and being a, a good long while tool to be having your toolbox thank you guys so much for watching links will be down in the video description so make sure you check out the denali uh screwdriver powered screwdriver from amazon really impressed with the uh price of this and the speed and torque settings of this screwdriver i think it does really well i don't think you're going to be able to find anything that's going to be able to pack as much of a punch as this does for the money best bang for the buck um, but I'm curious, what do you think? Put your comments down below. Do you think there's a, another screwdriver out here that can compete with this one for the price? Let me know. I'll be interested to hear what you have to say. Put your comments down below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. There's going to be more product reviews on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. E-Drone, out.